This is the BMW X6M, so it's the pinnacle of BMW SUV nurse, and it's an alternative to the Mercedes GLE 63 Coupe, the Porsche Cayenne Coupe Turbo, and the Audi RS Q8. In this video, we're gonna find out if it's any good. But before we do that, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on, so you're alerted when we make a new upload. Let's kick off this review by talking about the X6M's engine. It's a 4.4 litre twin turbo V8, and it has what's known as a hot V, which sounds quite rude. What it actually means is that the turbos are in the V, it means there's less distance for the air to travel before it goes into the engine, and it improves the response. Actually, I could probably wear this as like body armor. Uh, come on. Anyway, so this engine, it has 750 newton meters of torque, and in the normal X6M, it produces 600 horsepower. In this X6M competition, it's increased to 625 horsepower. So, does it feel quick? According to BMW, this car will do 0 to 60 in just 3.8 seconds, but will it? Well, as ever, I'm going to find out. I've got my specialist timing gear here. I've got a closed stretch of road. I'm going to launch it, see what happens. And let's also measure the 0 to 100 and the standing quarter. It's weird doing this on the public highway, but thankfully, I'm allowed to today. Let's do it. Yep, yeah, it's quick. Quick off the line. Come on. This is so hard doing on the road. <laughs> I feel naughty. That's the core. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy now. Oh, wow. I've got 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds. 0 to 100, 7.9 seconds. Now let's check out the setting quarter mile. In 11.6 seconds. Now I know what you're thinking. I did those times going down the hill. Unfortunately, I can't alter the topography of the land here. So in fairness, Prove I'm not being sponsored by BMW. I'm gonna do it up the hill. Here we go again. Oh, that skipped a bit off the line. <laughs> Struggling for traction. <laughs> what are you gonna do uphill? Still feels quick. Very quick. Oh, that's enough of that. Oh. What? Even though it's uphill, not to 60, 3.5 seconds, 0 to 100, 8.3 seconds, and the standing quarter mile is 11.7 seconds. So not all that much different, really. It's impressive. The X6M gets some styling upgrades over the normal X6. It has a revised front bumper, which is more aggressive, and the competition version has black surrounds for the rather huge kidney grills. Moving down the side, you get bigger alloy wheels. 21 inches as standard on the normal X6M, though the X6M competition has 22-inch rear wheels. Just does. You also get side skirts, and I should point this out because it's a key M feature, the aerodynamic air mirrors, which I am fisting. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go to the back. You get a little boot spoiler there. You've got your X6M badging, competition as well, to just highlight it's the very range-topping version. A rear diffuser, which doesn't probably diffuse much at all. It's just there for show. But what's not there for show are these quad tailpipes, as I'll illustrate now with the car wire phone of truth, because I don't have a stick. Look at this, though. They're big enough to fit my Samsung Galaxy Plus in there. I'm probably melting the foam right now, just to show you they're real. There are also plenty of upgrades here on the inside of the X6M. So you get an M Sport steering wheel with the M badging on it. You got some M coloured stitching, which you also get on the safety belts and on the gear knob, which is unique to M cars. It also has three different settings for the gearbox when you're shifting in manual mode. Then there's M specific buttons here, a red starter button as well. You've got aluminium pedals, aluminium kit plates, and they're illuminated. M specific floor mats. And then there's M dials. And when you see the car on the infotainment system, it's the proper X6M in the colour 
you bought it. Now the trim panel on here is normally aluminium on the M cars, but you can upgrade it to this carbon fiber. Same here with the center console. And as you can see there, you've got your X6M badging there and competition added if you paid the extra for the competition model. Then there's these seats, absolutely lovely wing back seats, two tone, soft merino leather. And if you want to, you can upgrade them. So they have a massage function. Of course, a standard they are fully electric and very, very adjustable. They also have a honeycomb pan to them, which is actually mirrored in the door cards. In fact, the door cards are unique to this X6M as well. And then there's Alcantara for the headlining, which is lovely. M cars aren't just about the show. They're also about the go and the stop. That's why this car has some seriously upgraded brakes. So you've got ventilated discs all round. They're 395 millimeters up front and 380 at the back. Then there's some huge calipers, which have six pistons in them. That's insane. Also, you've got floating discs. The central hub is actually aluminium. That helps keep the weight down. And then you've got the steel disc, but it's not mounted directly onto it. And that means that the two metals can expand at different rates. They can take 100 degrees higher than standard brakes. But how well do they work? Let's find out. Okay, let's see if these brakes are any good. We're gonna do a brake test. When I reach that sign, full emergency stop. Let's see what happens. Here we go, here's a sign, here's a sign, here's a sign. goodness whoa so this braked from 70 miles an hour to zero in 45.9 meters and it took 3.2 seconds but i was actually going over 70. let's see what i did from 100 miles an hour it took 91.9 meters from 100 miles an hour and that took 4.4 seconds the highway code says that you should be able to break from certain distances to this these figures here so this bmw did considerably better now let's just check one last thing, the G-force under deceleration. 1.28 G. I did feel that. I could feel my brain just smashing against the front of my skull. Hopefully I haven't got a concussion. We've established this car can accelerate hard, it can brake hard, but it also needs to corner hard. That's why BMW's M division has fitted it with a load of extra bracing. You can even see the extra bracing here, just in the engine bay. There's more throughout the car as well. The X6M also gets an upgraded variable steering system, and that's designed to be nice and responsive without ever feeling overly edgy. There's also upgraded M Sport suspension, and it's adaptive as well, so you can choose between different modes. There's active anti-roll stabilization to keep the car nice and upright through faster turns, and you have a special M Dynamic mode for the stability control, which is like a halfway house with a bit of kind of lariness, but it'll still gather you up if you get things wrong. The car's four-wheel drive system is set up for a rear-wheel drive bias, but there's even a four-wheel drive sport mode, which is even more rear drive biased. And then there's the M rear differential, which can send power to the rear wheel with the most grip. You get Michelin Pilot Sport 4 S tires as standard, which have been specifically engineered for this car. Now they're wider on the back than at the front, once again, to enhance that rear drive feel. And on this competition version, they're 11.5 inches across, huge. Let's see what difference these chassis upgrades make. Straight away, the car feels more alert than the normal X6. The suspension is obviously firmer, gives it a sportier edge, and it just doesn't really leave for a tall car. Obviously, if you get too carried away, you're going to end up pushing wide in the corner because it's still quite heavy. You can't overcome physics, but those huge tyres do give you loads and loads of grip. The steering is probably the standout thing, really. It's so sharp, you turn the car and it just responds immediately. It definitely has that M vibe going on with it. Is it as agile as a Porsche Cayenne Coupe? So close, needs a back-to-back -back them to be sure. In fact, if you wanna just check out my review of the Porsche Cayenne Coupe, click on the pop-out banner up there. Now, I just wanna tell you about the new CarWow app. You can use it to scan a car's number plate and it'll tell you how much that car is worth. Do you want that app? If you click on the pop-out banner up there, you can download it for free and use it to check out how much you can save on this BMW X6 M competition because it starts from £113,000, which is quite a lot. Though you do get quite a bit extra kit with this car as standard. The competition version of this car, which we only get in the UK, gets an upgraded exhaust over the standard X6M. As standard, the X6M gets a heads-up display so you can see your speed and your revs without having to take your eyes off the road. It also gets something called M mode, so it sets the car up for various activities. And if you put it into track mode, it will even do stuff like shut down the infotainment system, reduce the volume from the stereo so you can just focus on driving. You also get some special dials as well when you're in this M mode. They look a little bit more sporty. 
You get these M1 and M2 driving buttons and they allow you to access pre-selected driving modes. Super easy. You actually set them up using the screen here. So you get the car exactly as you want it. Customers can choose from a wide range of paint colors, including three specific M colors. One of them is a really weird green. It's kind of cool though. However, not everything about this car is great. Here's five annoying things about it. A key design feature of M cars are their side air breathers. And this one is completely blocked off. Maybe they should call it a side suffocator. BMW M cars are supposed to excel on track, but I'm not sure how this thing would do because it's a bit of a fat ass. It weighs in at 2,370 kilos. And like the normal X6, you can't get the X6M with rear wheel steering. The reason being, the wheels are just too wide, can't do it. Bit of a shame really, because it would make the car more maneuverable when you're just driving around town. If you buy one of these things in Europe, it won't sound as good as if you buy one in the States. And it does sound good, this American version. The reason is that European cars have to have a petrol particulate filter, whereas in America they don't, and those filters just kill the sound. The X6M uses the exact same powertrain that's in the M5. The only thing is that while that car has the ability to go in two-wheel drive mode, this one hasn't got it. It's nothing to do with mechanicals, they're exactly the same. It's just because BMW doesn't want to let it, which seems like a bit of a shame because it'd be fun doing huge donuts in this. Then there's a boot, which at 580 litres is really big enough, though it's still slightly smaller than a Porsche Cayenne Coupes, an Audi RS Q8, and a Mercedes AMG GLE 63S Coupes. That was a mouthful. There are some other problems with this car, though they're common to the normal X6, and one of them is that headroom, it's not the greatest. I mean, I'm okay, but really tall people might struggle. It's definitely not as roomy as the squarer shaped X5. It's a bit of a shame because overall, there's still plenty of room here in the back. Finally, we need to talk about what this X6M is like to drive when you're not wanting to fully utilize all those M upgrades. Those fatter tires do create a bit more road noise and the sport suspension means you do feel bumps a little bit more, though it's never terrible. The trade-off is that when you're on the motorway going at speed, this thing does feel a bit more planted than the normal X6. And if you suddenly need to overtake someone, the gearbox, it responds quicker. And of course you've got all the performance from that turbocharged V8 engine. This thing will top out at 174 miles an hour, which is great if you live in Germany and you're on the Autobahn, but for the rest of the world, it's pretty pointless being able to go that quickly, which kind of begs the question, why bother with this car in the first place? Well, some people want the ultimate incarnation of something, and this is the ultimate incarnation of a BMW SUV. Simple. So then, what's my final verdict on the BMW X6M competition? Should you avoid it? Should you consider it? Should you shortlist it? Or should you just go right ahead and buy it? Well, I reckon you should shortlist it. You see, it's right at the very top of its game when it comes to performance and handling. It's just that SUVs are also about the styling, and I don't think it looks as good as an Audi RS Q8. But hey, that's subjective, isn't it? I just want to prove to you guys that the road was closed. So here's our um, deputy, which has been provided by the local police. Hello. He may have a German accent and be working for BMW, but this, this stuff clearly is very real. Only joking, he's, he's one of the photographer team. Um, the real police have shut the road. They're up there keeping cars from going past. We abide by the rules, of course we do. Don't ever doubt us. <laughs>